What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. TPA Spotter 11 here. Uh, coming at you with a so, something a little different today. Uh, this time will be the pre pre pandemic up, update of Orlando International Airport. As you can tell, it's a packed fuel of planes for this update. And a lot, a lot of interesting routes for this update. And a lot of interesting airlines for this pre pandemic update. But this update uh, takes you a, a little bit of a brief history of MCO and and the, how the flights how the flights were turned out before COVID ended and and uh, interesting aircrafts for this update. Uh, as you can tell, the taxis are jam packed. The Southwest terminals jam packed. Like the this terminal is jam packed. I didn't even had to put put these planes oh, all the way over here due to the fact that I don't have anywhere else to put them. Like like this section right here is like the South Country Swoop, WestJet, Iceland Air, the Spirits, the Jet Blues, and the Frontiers. But hopefully, hopefully soon I can try to expand this part and put other places to put put them in. Put a new terminal there and possibly a cargo terminal. But anyways, uh let's get things rolling. Uh yeah, right here we have a Delta Madong Doko 7090. Uh we'll be doing a flight to Raleigh Durham. Uh I'm not sure if they did an MD90 flights to Raleigh Durham, but I know they did from four seven one sevens. And uh, I think the A319s and the A320s, but I'm not sure if they did the MD90s. But anyways, this this uh, MD90 will be heading over Raleigh Durham. Right here, we have a uh, a Southwest 737-700 classic retro livery. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to uh, New Orleans. Uh, Southwest 737 Max 8. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to San Diego. Uh, interesting thing about Azul, uh, they haven't they haven't flown a pink plane yet, but as of right now, there's that they, they actually are flying right now with a pink plane, but they haven't done a flight with a pink plane uh, in a while. But it's already like three, two to three years old, and it hasn't hasn't flown on its commercial flight, but they have now. But they haven't they haven't. Pre-COVID, but this is the only is all I have. But anyways, this is old A three thirty nine under new. Uh, we do we'll be doing a flight to uh, Capinas, Brazil, which is in the Sao Paulo area. We have a Southwest three seven seven hundred. We'll be doing a flight to uh, some down to uh, Aruba uh, Frontier Airbus A three twenty new. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to. Uh, Angua de la Puerto Rico. And interesting thing is, uh, your ways did fly here, but not not with the Discover lo logo. But we have this A330 200 operated only by Eurowings. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to Cologne, Germany. Uh, they actually did have flights to Cologne uh, back in 2017. But that's the reason why I throw that Eurowings Discover in here. but. I just take Discover out of it, but it's only offered by Eurowings. But so that guy is going to uh, Cologne, Germany. Let's go down the line here. We have a American 737-800 Chrome Air Retro. We'll be doing a flight to uh, the Chicago Air. Uh, the Frontier Jack the Rabbit 8319. Uh, I'll send this guy to. Uh, I'll send this guy to Cancun. Uh, Delta 757 200 breast cancer. We'll be doing a flight to Detroit. Pulling in the gate. We have a Delta 739 coming in from a flight from. Uh, uh, let's. It's time to come in from uh, Seattle Tacoma. Uh, we got the Southwest. I mean, that's. I can't even talk today. Uh, Alaska 737-800, uh, 
800 doses to early. I'm not sure they flew that pre-COVID or not, but that's the only 800 I have. But anyways, that guy is going to San Diego. And we got American 738 Chrome Retro. I mean, not Chrome Retro. Uh, Reno, Reno Air Retro livery coming in from uh, DFW. Uh, United 738 uh, pushing back for a flight to uh, send to uh, Houston. United 738 arriving in from uh, Los Angeles. We got the hold on. JetBlue A320 uh, coming in from flight from Ponce. And let's get let's get these three white bodies out of the way. So we got an Emirates Triple Seven 300 ER. Uh, doing a uh, doing a flight to Dubai and that's a uh, really long delay, but do, during the pand, I mean, before the pandemic, uh, the departure was like uh, two two p.m. or something like that, but not, but the time frame is updates around uh, seven to eight p.m. But this guy's really late, so I'll be heading out to uh, Dubai. And we got we got a Delta seven six three uh, push, pushing for a flight to Sao Paulo. Uh, believe it or not, they Delta uh, serve uh, Sao Paulo uh, pre pandemic. But I'm not sure if they. I think they dropped it pre COVID, but I'm not. I'm not sure. But they, they did do like uh, daily flights from MCO to Sao Paulo, Brazil. So as so I was just sending this guy to Sao Paulo and that just came in from Am Amsterdam earlier. And the Amsterdam service, uh, they, they did uh, s suspended pre-COVID and now it's back with an A330. And they did uh, Amsterdam with a 76, 767, but now it's with an A330. Anyways, uh, we got the Latam 767 300. Uh, Coming in from a flight from Rio de Janeiro, and that's also that's also a route from Latam. It's our Rio de Janeiro back in 2017. I think it was, I think it was dropped 2019, or or during the or before the pandemic happened. So, uh, let, let's see see the, see these guys the best for last. So anyway, let's go with Southwest. So we have this 737, 700, losing a one uh, case on attaching. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to uh, New Orleans. Actually, actually, correction, that, that'll be heading to uh, Houston, Hobby, uh, Southwest 737, 800. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to Montego Bay, uh, Southwest 737, 700, Florida 1. Uh, uh, this guy will be staying with the state. We'll be heading down to Fort Lauderdale. 737 700 Kenny Blue. We'll be doing a flight to uh, Rochester, uh, Colorado 1, 737 700. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to. Uh, let's, let's send them to. Uh, send them to Omaha. And we got this. 737 800. Uh, Kenny Blue without the splits. We'll be doing a flight to uh let's have him go to Vegas. Uh 737 seven, I mean eight hundred. Kenny Blue uh with splits. We'll be doing a flight to uh Buffalo. Uh 737 700 10 C1. Uh we'll be doing a flight to Memphis and Tail Heavy and a Tail Heavy uh Southwest 737 700 uh Trip Crown 1 will be doing a flight to Louisville. And let's go with let's go with these these here. Let's start this frontier here to me as a dolphin and go down the line. So we have this 
me and the, me and the Dolphin A320 Neo would be doing a flight to. Let's have go to. Uh, Uh, let's have them go, have them go to uh, Santo Domingo. Griswold Bear A320. We'll be doing a flight to Denver. I'm not sure that it, I got this far too. Oh, yeah, I did. That was had an Amphidilla. We got this JetBlue A320, A321 Neo. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to uh, New York John F. Kennedy. Uh, JetBlue A320, uh, Boston Red Sox. Uh, coming in from a flight from uh, uh, let's say Cancun. Why not? JetBlue AQ20, uh, blueberries, uh, coming in from Salt Lake City, and we'll be heading out to uh, Boston. And then New York Jets AQ20, uh, that one that was a repaint. Same with the Red Sox, they both got repainted, but I got the, I got the old paints. That's also good for the pre paint pre pandemic updates. So I was saying I got into New York and the iHeart New York E320 will be doing a flight to uh, I'll send them to I can't talk today. Uh let's have have them go to I haven't go to San Juan, why not? So we got this Spirit A320, A320 Neo. Uh, this one's the Gemini, Gemini Jets version. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to uh, San Salvador. A320 Neo. Uh, we'll be staying in the state, we'll be heading down to Fort Lauderdale. And one of my favorite planes. Uh, we got the Iceland Air 757-200 in the uh, Aurora Borealis Heckler Royal delivery. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to Reykjavik Catholic. Uh, that's also that's also a flight that that was operated by 75s and now they're operated by 73s and Maxes. This is op operate all 75s uh, before COVID and now operating 73s and Maxes. And then two, two Canadian, two Canadian, uh, Canadian sitting there, uh, WestJet seven thirty seven Max eight. We'll be doing a flight to Toronto, and the Swoop seven thirty seven eight hundred. We'll be doing a flight to Hamilton. And we got the Sun Country seven thirty seven eight hundred. We'll be doing a flight to uh, Minneapolis. Uh, let's say say the internationals for last. So, we're going to start with this, with this United 737-900, we'll be doing a flight to San Francisco. Believe it or not, I just I just decided to try to fit a 777 at a narrow body gate, but believe it or not, it actually kind of worked. Except when, except when the United 739 there, I just, probably just move it right there. I'm not worried about the gate for now, but, but believe it or not. It actually kind of fits there and there too with the United A320. But the reason why I put a United 777 there because I put a Latanza A340 there. But anyways, uh, got this United 777 go to Chicago here. Uh, the United A320, uh, the retro livery will be heading to uh, Washington Dulles and uh, United 757-200, uh, Newark, New Jersey art livery heading to Newark. And we got the More to Love, Alaska 737-900, uh, coming from Portland and heading to Seattle. Uh, the U.S. Airways Heritage 8 through 21 will be heading to Phoenix. We got the 8319 here, uh, we'll be heading down to Miami. And... We got the American A321 uh, Stand Up Cancer Liberty will be heading to uh, Philadelphia. We 
We got this 757-300 for Delta. Uh, we'll be heading to Minneapolis. And we got the thank you delivery, 8321. We'll be heading to Boston. Uh, 738 Delta heading to uh, Cincinnati. Uh, Delta 8321 to uh, New York John F. Kennedy. And uh, 757-200, uh, we'll be heading to Atlanta. Now I've already got the 776, that's going to Sao Paulo. So. And now an airline that does not exist anymore. So that might be my first or last. Um, I might put it for the Tampa pre-pandemic update. So we got this, Nor I mean, Norwegian, I was about to say Norris, uh, Norwegian 7879. Uh, we'll be doing a flight to uh, Oslo. So that's, so now that route's uh, covered by Norse since uh, Norwegian is no longer using the 787s. Actually, airline still does it, it does it exist, but Norwegian long, long haul is gone now. So North Norse took over for Norwegian. And now this, this Norwegian aircraft uh, was paint, painted in the Norse colors now. So that came from Oslo and will be, Actually, uh, that's ending Oslo, and that just came from uh, Paris Strasbourg. So we got this British Airways uh, triple seven two hundred. Uh, we'll be heading along the Gatwick. Uh, not not the safe BA. Virgin Atlantic seven four seven four hundred is obviously retired, but now but now they're now uh, the London Gatwick bait. They pulled out of London Gatwick for the pan during the pandemic. Uh, now, now they move all the, all the flights to Heathrow and down to grow from there. So, so I have this guy coming from uh, London Gatwick and then heading to uh, Manchester and the Virgin Atlantic A330-300 uh, coming from Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, that was a route with a 74 at the time, but put it with an A330. Uh, the Glasgow does not exist anymore, but now, but now the it was replaced by the, uh, the El El Edinburgh Scotland route. So that guy came from Glasgow, and that will be heading out to uh, Belfast. And the light came off on my phone because I got a dead battery in here. So we got a Air Canada Rouge A320, A321, I mean, uh, heading to Toronto. So I'm gonna go quickly here. And uh, Air Canada A320 will be heading to uh, Halifax. It's, I didn't mean to drop my phone. Almost, almost a fail. So. Oh, the gate gate coming out unattached for Aer Lingus. So this A330-300, uh, we'll be heading in, heading to Dublin. Uh, believe it or not, Aer Lingus has done better uh, post-pandemic than pre-pandemic. So, you guys, uh, they had a Manchester flight post-pandemic. And during pre-pandemic, pre, pre, uh, uh, it was only the Dublin flight. So... I gotta go quickly so I can't talk, I'll talk more because it's dead better. Uh, we got the Edelweiss A330-300 heading to Zurich. Uh, another flight that's uh, another airline that does not serve MCO anymore. Believe it or not, T Tampa won the uh, won the demand for that for the uh, flight because. Uh, they serve MCO for a little bit, but now they're they're controlling their growth for Tampa instead. But but the Tampa route uh, was your your round round not now seasonal. But they're they're doing a great great job at Tampa. They 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 done a good job of uh, MCO too. I, I I just hope they resume the MCO flight too. But. But uh, the Tampa flight 
doing a nice job with two weekly flights, but also the reason why is that they retired the A330s and all they have is like five A340 300s. But the, now these Edelweiss livery is now uh, repainted in the Eurowings Discover livery with the A330 300s. So that's going to the uh, Zerg. And last but not least for this update is the Lufthansa A340 300. We know the flight to Frankfurt. Oh, now I'm tired. So that is it for Orlando International Airport. Uh, if you want a subscriber route for the my Tampa Airport updates, uh, comment down below your route, uh, aircraft, and airline. So, and thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more aviation videos, and I'll see you in the next video.